that the trial of your faith, being much more precious than of gold that perishes, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ. 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 7 Trials and temptations are the means which God employs to manifest to the soul the reality and strength of the faith which he bestows upon it. For there is in every trial and temptation opposition made to the faith that is in the heart. And every trial and temptation, so to speak, threaten the life of faith. And they threaten it in this way. Under the trial God for the most part hides himself. He puts forth indeed a secret power whereby the soul is held up, or otherwise it would sink into utter despair, and be overcome and swallowed up by the power of unbelief. Hence comes the conflict between the trial that fights against the faith and the faith which fights against or rather under the trial. Now when in this trial in this sharp conflict, in this hot furnace, faith does not give way, is not burned up, is not destroyed, but keeps its firm hold upon the promise and the faithfulness of him who has given it. This trial of faith becomes very precious. It is precious to the soul when God again smiles upon it and becomes thus manifest as genuine. It is precious in the sight of God's people, who see it and derive strength and comfort from what they witness in the experience of a saint thus tried and blessed. And it is precious also in the sight of God himself, who crowns it with his own manifest approbation and puts upon it the attesting seal of his own approving smile. But above all things, it will be found precious at the appearing of Jesus Christ, and that not only in his various appearings in grace, but in his final appearance in glory. For of that the Apostle mainly speaks when he says that it may be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ.